Mexico Beach continues to search for the next city administrator. City council members held a special meeting tonight to replace Doug Baber, who resigned in June, and interim administrator Michael Manning, who turned in his resignation Tuesday to join Baber in the city of Crystal River. They have narrowed their list of applicants. News 13's Courtney Evans is live in our studios tonight. Courtney, what happened during tonight's meeting? Amy, the city received about 15 applications. Tonight, city council members agreed to interview six candidates for the job. Mexico Beach Interim City Administrator Michael Manning's last day will be August 15th. Manning accepted a position as Assistant City Manager in Crystal River, the same place former City Administrator Doug Baber now works. My goal was to ensure that the city was prepared for its next permanent City Administrator, and that included uh, creating the budget for the next fiscal year with the lowest millage rate since before Hurricane Michael, um, starting our annual audit, and then also uh, doing the required budget amendments to close out the current fiscal year. Manning says it was a tough choice to leave rather than stay and apply for the Mexico Beach job. The staff here is incredible um, and I hope that the city council continues to trust them and rely on them. It's a special group. Um, the decision to apply for the city of Crystal River came together very quickly. Manning has been with the city less than a year, but council members praised his work. He's been uh, really great here and he's had great learning opportunities here. So we're, we're sad to see him go, but we're excited about his future plans. Now the city must replace him. Thursday, they narrowed the list of finalists to six applicants. They are Patrick Marsh, a city manager in Nevada, Timothy Day, a special tax district manager and interim city manager, Chris Hubbard, who works in real estate, Tim O'Brien, an economic development director, Denise Vickers, who works with the University of Florida College of Broadcasting, and Catherine Gatewood, a city clerk from Freeport. We will go ahead and interview them very promptly. Uh, we have some excellent candidates, uh, great experience as city administrators, good educational background. The council will conduct the interviews next week. We feel it's very urgent as the city continues to uh, make advances that we go ahead and get a full-time city administrator in place. And we do want, of course, someone that's highly qualified and has a good educational background to be able to perform the activities that he'll need to perform, he or she. One of the finalists, Chris Hubbard, is a former Mexico Beach city administrator. Recording. Are the interviews open to the public? Yes, the meetings, the meetings will be held at the Public Works building. The community is encouraged to attend. All right, thanks, Courtney Evans, tonight. Thank you.